Hi, my name is Carrie Arney. Uh, I am the Garden Center Manager here at Sullivan Hardware and Garden in Indianapolis, Indiana. I am a uh, Purdue graduate uh, of the School of Horticulture, Sales and Marketing specifically. So, and I've been in the industry for almost 20 years. Today we'll be touching on frequently asked questions that come about when people come in to buy seed packets or plants. Some of our most frequently asked questions are, how big should my garden be in regards to square footage and measurements, uh, the frequency of watering and fertilizing, and also what type of soil should I use to plant. Customer comes in and they say, I want to plant a, a flower garden or, or a vegetable garden. Some things you need to find out before helping the customer is, are we planting straight into the ground or is it a raised bed situation? Um, how many different types of plants would you like to have in this particular area? So once you know those things, you can kind of lead them into looking at, you know, plant care tags and seed packets to know how far apart you need to plant plants and then you can kind of do the math and the measurement from there. So general rule of thumb is one inch of water per week. Now obviously in warmer weather, which would be what we would consider above 80 degrees, you would need to do about another half inch to an inch. Now this can be easily measured by putting a rain gauge or some sort of container that has a vessel you know, under your irrigation, and once that vessel rises to an inch, you've watered an inch. Now, most of this, you would like to think, would come from natural rainfall. But in the summertime, especially here in Indiana, we don't get that all the time, so you're gonna have to find another form of irrigation. Um, and then fertilizing, uh, there's a couple different ways that you can fertilize. You can either go by liquid, which is water-soluble, or you can do granular. Um, there's advantages and disadvantages to both. The advantages of water soluble uh, would be you can apply it more often um, and it, you know, it gives the plants nutrients quicker. Whereas granular, you can apply that, um, don't have to apply as often because it lasts longer. So when you're talking with your customer in regards to which one they would like to do, that is strictly an opinion based. Some people may want to do that one shot and maybe have to do it, you know, again in the fall or something. And some people, you know, they want to see that water soluble, they want to see it go, go, go. So you can do uh, either one. Um, and it's, you know, on, on granular, an example would be 12, 12, 12. And there's instructions uh, on the back of all packages that let you know the amount to put down per square foot. Um, and the same thing with water soluble, which an example of that would be miracle Grow. Um, and again, they provide information, you know, for whatever square footage you're trying to cover, how much fertilizer needs to be put down. Generally, as a general rule of thumb, no matter if it's flower or vegetable gardening, um, you want to make sure that you have nice, loose, uh, fluffy soil, okay? And you also want to make sure that there's a healthy amount of organic matter, which is what you would get from either compost or manure. Um, once those are kind of established, you can, you know, let your customer know that a, a general rule of thumb for basic pH for flower and vegetable gardening is between six and seven on the scale. And so if you provide soil testing kits or pH kits, you can guide your customer to that so they can make sure that, you know, if they need to make any amendments, they'll know what they need to do, whether to make it less acidic or more acidic.